Hey, Amir, good morning. Or afternoon. Hey, David. Hi there, how are you? I am living the dream. How about you? I'm doing all right. I hope my comments about white papers and blogs and all that nonsense made some sense. I, I, I didn't, I, I, that may have been, I had to drop about 35 past. No so, deal. um, yeah, but, You're too, Hey, let's have a white paper. Hey, let's have a blog post. Uh, let's have titles for these things. There's a lot of things that are blog posts. There are a lot of things that are white papers. Oh yeah. I, I, I wanted a little more clarification on what the goal was. <laughs> yep. Yep. That, <clears throat> five days are always good. Yep. So, uh, Although I think, you know, we, I mean, we're coming off the uh, AI working group, I guess, uh, nascent working group hoping to be, but um, there's already uh, other folks in particular, the, I mean, OWASP's got a small work, but in particular, there's an ALF, AI and Data Foundation. It has a group that's doing security. So, hey, wait, we should talk. So Brian's making the connections and uh, I, I haven't interacted with, I've, I've interacted briefly with Ibrahim, but uh, I haven't interacted with that particular working group because, yeah. oh my gosh, there are so many things to get, that one can be involved in. <laughs> yep. What you, need to, you need to upgrade the number of hours you have in each day to about 40, 45. Uh, and then I like that. You, you, can you, know what, you know what the problem is? I'd fill them. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll just mean I age faster. There you go. Feels like a Twilight Zone episode where you like you get what you wish for. <laughs> it's like, oh yes, yes. You just like uh, cannot fall asleep. <laughs> well, actually, there's a whole kid show with that premise. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, okay. I have not seen. I don't know that. If you've, okay, my my kids loved it, and you know what? I saw. I love when it first came out. I got, this is this is gonna last three episodes. I mean, you know, the the premise is you've got kids. He make wishes, and they just come true for through his fairly odd for his fairy godparents. Nice, nice. I mean, and um, and, and the thing is, it's a whole lot like the old Wiley e. Coyote Roadrunner shows. You know, it's gonna go end badly, but every week <laughs> it's is get another Hacking. wish that ends badly. <laughs> And it turns out you can make a whole lot of shows with that new yep. idea in badly. Yep. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> and and what's funny is that with a little comedy, you could keep it amusing. <laughs> how you know, how is it going to go badly this time? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, folks, just one more minute. Mm -hmm. meeting notes. Oh, we're doing old style attendance lists. Is that not, is, are, are we, I didn't realize that was, uh, that we was have, legacy. How, how are we doing? That, 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 how are the that was so doing? last week. Yeah, that, that's so last week. Uh, all right, so let me, I'm, I'm sure we can do more, but uh, they, the problem with that is that they, um, people are basically, if you just type it in, if you type it in, then people don't type in their names all the time. And, or, and if you uh, and if you do the, the shaded versus fully dark, it doesn't really uh, translate to markdown. So we have oh, a new system. Fun. Present, name, org. We can also do the uh, pronouns. Um, uh, plea. That, that's an easy table to add. But right now, I am just focused on, you know, getting something here. Do, making that fix is relatively. Oh, so we have everybody, including those who are not present. Right. You copy the table, yes. and now you can put an X. And see now, all you have to do from the following weeks is you put an X, and anybody can put an X. If they see you, they can also put an X there. 
Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I, 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 sure. <laughs> I'm doing it for you. Yeah. I love it. I love tell, it. Tell me, it, tell me if you hate it. That is no, but, no, no, no. I will never, ever, if someone does something for me, it is always perfect. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll quote that at you Keep later. That, <laughs> yeah, just right. <laughs> And you know what, uh, eventually the goal is to have tooling do this more, but. Um, uh, AI is nowhere near there. No, nowhere near able to take attendance. <laughs> you, you know what, actually. Then what are AI, we doing? <laughs> yeah, well, AI isn't, but um, a signing in through LFX with your um, SSO ID absolutely works. Um, but, but I can never see it. I can't even see who was invited to these. Shh. Do not interfere with the facts. <laughs> why, why, why would you? Oh, uh, that's why I like security. To... The problems are so tractable compared to things like, you know, meeting attendance and meeting notes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyway. Anyway. All right. The hope is that the, the goal is to make life easier, translates to markdown and Clicking on X's is hopefully a little easier for everybody. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see. We don't have any new members here today. Um, uh, project updates. Um, who would like to go for it? I, 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 unless anybody really wants to. Maybe we'll start with dashboard. Um, Jay, how is that going? Uh, well, dashboard. I, I I wish I had something uh, different than uh, last week. I don't. I mean, the last time we met, I don't. Um, we we uh, the, the new front end person came on board. Uh, cool. We dove back into uh, the survey that was done by by Mike, and we and we uh, we you know that it was like I said, fantastic survey. So we dive back into that a little bit more, which will help out a lot with um, how we organize front end development. Um, uh, Raul is is still in the process of pushing code to the repo, uh, so that that can be seen there. Um, but ultimately, we're we're you know giving them time to uh, to work and, and get some things done for us to be able to show the uh, working group uh, towards the end of uh, next month. Awesome, I I, I am curious um, for for the for the front end dev, um, who who's 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 paying for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> front end LFS. LFS. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool. That's great. I just now, I, now I, I'm actually not sure if that's open SSF funds or another bucket. I don't actually know where the bucket is. But I do know that um uh that uh, we are somehow involved with paying her. I just want to make sure that I'm not personally getting an invoice. <laughs> I didn't write a proposal. It didn't go up to you. There was nothing that went up to you to the tech. As far as I'm concerned, if they got brought them on board, we had nothing to do with that. I just love it. Love it. It's my favorite. Uh, cool. Okay. So a uh, couple weeks demo some, sometime in July, I'm guessing. Yep. That, that yep. sounds awesome. Cool. Um, Amir, it looks like we're good for. I, I, actually, if, if, I, oh, if I may real please. quick. Yeah, so um, I actually have separately briefly talked with um, uh, Hurt as well. Um, he's, he's basically trying to, you know, uh, trying to get get things started. Uh, one thing he's really interested in is trying to figure out how to do more than just present raw numbers. But you know, how can we, you know, be, be, I mean, I, I do think that presenting important numbers is useful all by itself. But but he'd like to have something that's a little more, you know. Hey, this you know is this good? Is this bad? Um, and uh, I I think what uh, after some brief discussions, what I'm coming away, what uh, he's coming away with is uh, trying to convert this, if nothing else, to a comparison to other projects kind of score. So you know, I don't know if 30 days is slow or fast as a response to vulnerabilities, but if almost everybody else does it in two, you're doing it in 30, that's not so good. I, yes, I, I think comparing one project to one project might not be super useful. Right. But I, comparing I so. one project to the median of all projects scanned or the, 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 the what, what, in what percentile are you? Right. Uh, would be 
that mm-hmm. that's exactly right now and and you know i could easily imagine maybe it'd be better if you grouped them by you know say maybe among all python projects or whatever yeah. but i i i think the notion though is you know um you know how do how do we convert a raw a raw number into something that provides more information and while there are other ways to do it I, I do think that zero versus one can one developer more versus more than one that tells you information without you needing a lot of explanation. Mm-hmm. But for some of these others, it's not obvious. But if we can use a comparison of the projects, we think that'll help. Yeah, I think what, one of the things that we talked about a while ago was the the concept that. Um, OpenSSF can have an opinion and, and award kind of gold stars where we think that certain attributes are good. So the, the, the idea being having more than one, more than one, you know, committer it, you get, gets a gold star. Only one committer doesn't get the gold star, sorry. Um, but then being able to like flip the card over or whatever the UI like thing is to see that, oh, you have 47 committers. So you have one, you have zero it's unmaintained right. um so if if folks don't like our where we've awarded gold stars they can say you know what i just show me the numbers don't don't give don't give me your opinions uh and that way they can especially if you like the api they can make whatever different decisions they want um that would be useful yeah and i do think that in particular mentioning that like one contributor versus more than one you know or one maintainer versus more than one um, I think, strange as it may seem, that can still be really helpful. Um, you know, I don't know if you, you know, Michael, I presume you saw the numbers. I think, Jay, you did too, where basically there's an incredibly large number of projects with exactly one developer. Mm-hmm. And making that very clear that it's only one. That's not ideal. It's like 50% of all the projects we scan. So yep. although that's not ideal, it's also not unusual and I think that information is act, makes it still helpful, even in the case where you don't like it, maybe that's bad, but don't uh, don't have a cow, I, 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 yeah, don't overreact because in fact, this is a common situation. I love your 90s reference to don't have a cow, man. Oh, well, that's <laughs> good idea. I think that's a- Age Mew Ninja thing. Turtles? Like... Oh, no, 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 that, that was old then. Don't have a cow man. I think that Bart Simpson was. Oh, you're right. That was Bart that. Simpson. And, yeah, and, you're uh, right. Oh. Yeah, but but I, th- I think actually that oh. even goes back further. I, th- I think that's a, like a 60s thing. <laughs> it's like Greco Roman times. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have specified which. Don't have a cow man. <laughs> <laughs> they had cows um, then too. <laughs> um, yeah, and and. You know, honestly, I think the. I've been rattle here for for a long time, but like the the single maintainer projects are kind of interesting because, like, I'm on the other end of it. A lot of projects that I that I work on, I'm the only I'm the only dev on. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would, I think I would take offense, honestly, if someone called out my project as bad because nobody else contributed to it. Because I'm like. Well, yeah, that's what I've been screaming about. Nobody wants to contribute to this. <laughs> don't contribute to it, but then don't give me the you know a demerit because you know like if I'm actively doing something that's dangerous or there's obviously best practice that I could turn on but I choose not to. Fine, like and I could disagree with your thing, but like it like I don't go so far as to say like that's discriminatory, but like it is kind of like the person the maintainer is exactly the opposite of the class of individuals that you want to be giving the demerit to for single single maintainer projects they are the only person that showed up so yeah um, but at the same time i also get it from from a from an organization's perspective if i'm going to put something in a self-driving car or or whatever and i know that it's just one one person behind it that should give me pause in whether or not I'm willing to to take that um, take that risk. So maybe the answer is that there are the risks are kind of different. One is like project level, like 
not as secure as you should be, not as safe as you should be, yeah. risk there. And the other one is like, you know, uh, and another example would be, um, I, 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 uh, I released all my code on CPAN. Um, I have no idea if this is true, but let's just assume that CPAN does not support two-factor auth in any way for publishing packages. I have no control over that. I cannot influence that as a, as a maintainer. I should not be, be given a demerit because you cannot trust the packages that you obtain from CPAN because there's no signal on, on 2FA. Um, let, let me push back, but only slightly. I agree with you you should not be penalized because repo X, let me not say CPAN because I don't actually know. I wouldn't be surprised if they did support it. So, uh, but so yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 I love Pearl anyway. So like... Okay, I, I, I know, I know when you say CPAN, I know exactly what you're talking about. So <laughs> let, let's carry on. But let's say repo X doesn't support 2FA or hey, you only have one project on, one person on your project, okay? from the point of view of the recipient it really is a risk okay it's not that that's not relevant it is however there's a it, there is a difference because as you mentioned it's not something you can easily or directly control i think in both cases there are things you can do things like take you know make your readmes better and your documentation better so it's easier to for people who might be interested to figure out how to come on board. For CPAN, you can yell at CPAN or whatever the repo is if they don't support 2FA and yell at them and say, hey, support 2FA. But you can take steps to increase the likelihood and still not cause the effect you want. Right, right. So, so, I, so I, I, think that I, I think maybe we need to clarify that somehow is that sometimes these measures, while they do indicate risk, they're not necessarily under the control of the developers. Yes. I, so and I think, that, I think that breakdown totally makes sense. Like actionable for, for, for the maintainer, not actionable for the maintainer, but still interesting from a consumer perspective. Right. And I will note that, for example, the best practices badge, we rigged the goal. You have to get to the goal badge before you get to anything that requires more than one person. Uh, because it's such a common situation yeah. that it made no sense to, you know, there's so many things that a project could do that mm -hmm. were within its control. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and honestly, like even, I, I don't know how maintainers are captured in like scorecards and whatnot. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just like, someone who had a commit merged, like distinct number of individuals with a commit that they authored merged in the past timeframe. Um, but like, if there's only one person that actually ha owns the merge button, then there's only one actual, like, I don't know, call them a maintainer or an owner, but like, there's only one controller there. And oftentimes, you know, they go away or stop caring or whatever, like, but if they're not there to hit the merge button, it doesn't matter how many contributors you have, they're just gonna pile up as pull requests that never go merged. Um, okay, so I, it seems to me, uh, and this Jay, so I'm trying to figure out how to turn this into an action. Uh, I, I think Jay, what this suggests, is, and I'll bet there's a whole lot of little points like this. There probably should be a link on like the metrics dashboard of the caveats and stick this on the caveats page. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked about that some time ago about making sure that there were uh, clear uh, definitions, clear, um, you know, understanding of what each piece of data represented, and then, uh, and then, of course, what was there, what wasn't there, why it wasn't there, all that kind of stuff. And we talked about that about that some time ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, we might Maybe need, we we might need, need start... a landing page that that just yeah. talks about real quick. Hey, this is what it is. This is what it isn't. This is what you'll find here. This is what you won't find here. And, um, you know, if you have a suggestion on how we can include things that 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 should be found here that are not here, please send message to boom. Yeah. Right. We can probably probably, probably do, do that. I mean, that'll help solve that problem because caveats is like, you know, you can add those, but. You know. 
But like I said, all I mean, all that spawns from what with uh that 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 survey is, is great, and I and I and David's right. There were a couple of revelations that came out of it. Um, that that lends itself to say, well, wait a minute, what exactly are we showing here? How does this differentiate from what's already out there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Um, speaking of dashboards. Do we think so? The, cur the current metric metrics.openSF.org hasn't been updated in a long time. Does it make sense just to redirect that link someplace else? Um, I, I'll, I'll go through it tonight to see like if anybody's actually hitting it. I doubt it. Um, I think I think we can. I mean, one, once we get the, uh, I, I want to say once we get a front end situated. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't do it yet because we don't have anything to replace it with. Mm -hmm. And at least for me, I, I think we've been using it as a, an example of, you know, a, a comparison of example. Okay. So basically, yes, but not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I think we're at least I, I've been looking at it as a, Hey, this is the first prototype. We want to make sure we, we use this as a, we want this kind of but better <laughs> yeah totally totally good um awesome um let's see what's next uh any, anything else on on dashboard cool. um security reviews uh amir are we all, all the bugs have been fixed right all the the build nonsense stuff um so that's my update uh, earlier in the meeting i was messing around a little bit um on the repo and it looks like the that little hyphen in front of organization um when you go through the the markdown generator uh, yeah. process uh for some reason it's just not it's not getting that in there still so i think this would oh, fail so the, the automated test um due to the same problem we had with with the other one is this a yaml file that's being used anywhere here yes yeah it, it's the top of the yaml file um it looks like there were so so um sorry there there's a so pr 88 uh right Yes. Yeah, exactly. So this, this, uh, right okay. here, this hyphen. Uh, PR eighty eight should fix that. Okay. Uh, I, I just need, I mean, I should have you approve it before I push it. Um, but I think I think that that that's the thing that will um, uh, we'll fix this thing. Should fix okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It just it, as soon as you start talking about weirdness with certain characters and and. There's YAML involved. I have learned, uh, be, be, I mean, YAML is very easy to read, but you do have to be careful about quoting rules. Like, it's, it's that, uh, uh, it's, the it's, second one, the, the, the right below that. Yeah, that, that guy. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so once you do that, it should generate it, or you can obviously modify it yourself. And um, if you want me to review and approve or merge or whatever, like we can, we can get some of these um, <clears throat> updated. Okay. Right, that was 87. Um, uh, 88. The PR is 88. The bug is 87. Cool. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, this should hopefully fix that then. And then I'll continue to kind of clean up the repo a little bit. Um, I do still plan on kind of going through it a little better and um, uh, cleaning it up some more, especially as uh, the dashboard develops more because I know that the uh, content will be feeding into it. Yeah. So we'll definitely want to make sure everything is looking good there. We're capturing everything that we want in a way that works. Um, so, um, so yeah, um, I'll finish getting this repo updated. And then uh, as, the, as the, we talk more about the dashboard in the coming meetings, we can see if there's better ways to align um, the data we capture with uh, what, the, what the output is um, intending to look like at the end. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully, yeah, once we get these other, uh, ones in there and I think, yeah, the, the I still really want to go in and clean up that core infrastructure initiative stuff and sparse mm -hmm. it out and 
or parse it out rather. Sure. Um, but yeah, overall so far so good. And uh, yeah, I'll retest it with the now with the new uh, code to, to auto generate it correctly and test it out again. And Perfect. it should work this time. So yeah, all looking good. Awesome. Cool. Um, Luigi, threats paper. You want to chat about that a little bit? Yeah, I have some updates. Um, OK, about uh, the security side and the version 1.x or 2 point something, we need to define this. Uh, in short, I've uh, merged the two pull requests made with Jonathan in, for the, um, in the security insights. Uh, now the security insights is definitely more oriented to help, uh, well, the maintainers and the researcher to have more information about uh, automated tool and uh, how the researcher can open pull request or issue awesome. in the repo, uh, or how the maintainer want to be involved in this kind of process. Um, it is quite basic. You can also define the subpath uh, and uh, you can add comment uh, for human that want to read the file. So the scanner can scan, um, but also you can, the maintainer can add comment. Uh, there is just one open issue that is important at the moment, how we want to handle uh, uh, a reference for uh, the daytime of uh, uh, the security insights. Uh, I need to talk, I would like to talk, uh, I mean, I want to talk with Jonathan about this, uh, because honestly, I understand his point. I want just to be convinced by him to change the file. Okay. Um, about the document, I am slow, I'm sorry, but I am on calling this period, so... I am just adapting my, my time and my calendar, but I started to uh, add a new paragraph to the document. It, I am working still on my version, I mean, on my Google Drive, but it is public, the link, it is in the channel. And um, uh, uh, now I'm writing about the protest where I have seen how we have uh, um, previously um, wrote that document and we, uh, explain the thread, but also suggest uh, or try to suggest some uh, improvement, especially for the package management maintainer. Uh, but for example, for the protest where, uh, I mean, reading blog post and especially one by Quilio, I guess, um, it's hard to uh, have suggestions just for the packet manager system, which, I mean, there are some security suggestion also for the maintainer or for the company that want to download the third party packages. And so for now, I am not writing, I'm just at a draft paragraph for uh, the mitigation on the proposal solution or just because it is easier to communicate with the package manager system. Uh, it can be more difficult to communicate with the community that need to maintain something that can be a company, but also an organization or an open source project that just download the packages. So for that part, probably I will ask help and tag people. One of the problem to have a document in my own personal Google Drive is that I cannot easily find people that I would like to tag mm. because uh, I don't have uh, uh, all the uh, Linux Foundation contact, Linux Foundation, the, all yeah. the open source contact in my, in my contacts and yeah. So what, what you could do is you could create one of the magic links with edit access and then DM that privately to the folks that you would like edit access to on Slack. Yeah, yeah. not everyone has the email to in Slack, but I can do this. Probably I will, I will create, a, or I try to download the list of our meeting and uh, just uh, forward yeah. oh, the... No, no, no. If, if you create the magic link, whoever has the link has edit access to it. So you can just share that link privately through DM with the people, whether or not they're... But in this way, I cannot have the people in the contact. If I share just the magic link without invite the person, I cannot tag the person. Oh, good point. Yeah. Yes. yes. This is my problem, but just a minor problem. Yeah. Okay. And it is, so I am proceeding to write it. There are some uh, new uh, suggestion edit. Uh, I am editing the document, not directly on the document, but just using the suggestion. So if you don't find the edit is because are in the suggestion edit. I hope that people can see them. The document is public with editor privilege for everyone because I know that I can revert everything. Yeah. Uh, um, and it is. The link is in the channel. Uh, other 
find out. Updates, uh, no new updates about the security policy, but I need to write to the TAC uh, the, this week, I hope uh, that I finished the call. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I filled out uh, at least the security insight, um, partially, or oh, the security insight, while well, the two slide in the presentation that uh, someone asked me to fill out, probably you, I was on vacation oh. that day. Yep. Yeah. Uh, for the security sites, I've written that one of the blockers that we have is the security policy. Uh, I, I mean, if it was the, the the square where we asked to the TAC for help. Yes. And one of the help that we need is to have a way to approve a security policy that uh, both the OpenSSF like and Linux Foundation like. And this is not easy. Agreed. <coughs> yep. um, <coughs> on the doc. So, so the the, um, the 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 link to the draft update doc. Um, it looks like I don't know. I don't know how this this works. This doesn't make any sense to me. But all of the images have all of the words gone. Uh, <laughs> I yeah, I know. I, I don't I, know why. Yeah, I know. Uh, I want to fix this, but uh, okay. I'm, now I'm focusing on just on the text for the images. Yeah. Uh, to do this, yeah, I know. It's like the, probably the... because we have written not in Google Doc the first time. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah because oh, I mean yeah. I don't have Microsoft. I'm I don't have. Well, I'm Linux user, so I don't have Microsoft oh, Word. Microsoft Word hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I can send you a copy. <laughs> um, Michael, I don't want to tell you the last time I've opened Microsoft Word. <laughs> I do have. <laughs> uh, uh, but I do have it. That's good. That's good. Look, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop there. No, <laughs> no, no. We, yeah, we, we are not. We, 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 we are. This, this, is, this is this is toying in love. This AI is, is going to find this 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 video on YouTube and yeah. Uh, yeah, about the topic. Um, I asked, or I dream to ask, I don't know, uh, about if we have a channel for AI topic machine learning in Linux, for, in um, okay. OpenSSF. Okay, I am not able to find it. So if someone can invite me or tag me in the channel, because I would like to introduce this document to the AE slash machine learning channel. I think that the AI topic is totally different. I have I start to read some document and now we are seeing the first research about this, for example, that sometimes the um, uh, OpenAI ChatGTP can suggest you um, type of squat the package or something similar. So I think that introduce the AI in the document is a good idea, but I think mm -hmm. that it can be good enough to be discussed in another channel. Another. Yep. I, I posted a link to the channel. We meet every Wednesday. Uh, so we, we met earlier, earlier this morning. Uh, we are, as a working group, planning both a blog and a white paper. Um, the, the white paper, I, my understanding is that it will focus on like AI and ML risks unique to uh, either open source, you know, maintainers or consumers or somehow personas associated with that. Um, it wouldn't be insane to like actually have that content be part of the threats paper. Because if it is about threat, risk, and mitigation within the open source ecosystem, that's exactly what the white paper is talking about. Uh, so, I, I, I mean, it, it, it may be better published standalone now because AI is such a hot topic and visibility and all that stuff. But conceptually, it um, uh, could also go in the in the in the press paper. Yeah, uh, I still I don't know if we should have or not. We we can have just a, a short paragraph where we do a, a short uh, summary yeah. and link to the other one. Uh, we can, I mean, because we are not interested just to all the threat related to machine learning. For example, open source so machine learning projects are a topic. Uh, machine learning used by developer to develop uh, Open source tools is another topic mm -hmm. uh, with different threats, probably. Uh, uh, so, no opinion at the moment. I want just to say, hey, we have this document where we want, where we have uh, uh, listed all the possible 
uh, threat that we have identified in the open source uh, ecosystem. And we want to know, we would like to understand how the machine learning slash AI can impact this kind of ecosystem, but just this kind of ecosystem. Yeah. So okay. I want to, to launch this topic in the channel. Let's see what happened. Yeah. Uh, in the meanwhile, I continue to write uh, the, the editing, the document to, uh, I mean, following the issue that we have. I should write in the document that I'm following that issue. And um, in July, I have more time for today to write. So, awesome. Yeah. And no other updates. Cool. Is there anything else anyone would like to talk about? Uh, um, the, I have a question, if I can. The presentation that, uh, I mean, it was made uh, one week ago, two weeks ago, not sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, was for what uh, and what is the outcome from, well, the meeting, Sorry. I guess. So, so TAC asks for a an update from every working group, project, SIP, SIG, whatever, uh, all on a, they, they usually do like two per, session so i think we get it about twice a year ish uh so last week was identifying security threats just update on like uh where we are what we've been up to what we have coming up next um it's not uh, it, it it's um it's more of an inform um than anything else to give them some visibility into what we're up to so that's what we did. It, it isn't a good place for big asks or complex conversations or things like that. Um, so, so for the for the security policy thing, those are better. Those conversations are better as standalone, like agenda topics for for tech meetings. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I was just going to chime in uh, real quickly yeah. that um, I commented on your draft, Luigi, um, but I'd be happy to add some sections or some um, data to the security audit section just based on some of our research and um, output over the last couple of years, um, especially some of the, the stuff that has been um, essentially funded by OpenSSF. Uh, OpenSS so yeah, if, if that sounds good to, to the group, um, I can uh, start putting some things and then um, if, if, the, if the group likes it, I can, I can continue adding in uh, more, uh, more data and research and writing. That sounds great. Yeah, I, I would say like, uh, you know, for now, throw everything in the doc, like that, that, that's great. I think the having, having data to back up, like, you know, a stat like, um, projects that have undergone a security audit or X percent less likely to have a critical vulnerability in the next N years would be like an amazing statistic to see. Um, the, okay. I, 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 having like the list of projects that Ostif has like reviewed, it's probably less relevant within that, that topic, perhaps as an appendix of like, you know, pursuant to like the, the recommendations in this paper, like here's some activities that OpenSSF have undergone I'm not sold on whether or not that really belongs in the paper or just as a right. yearly update from OpenSSF, but um, it's a draft. Throw everything in. Okay. Cool. All right. If there is nothing else, we can leave a bit early. Hello, Monoir. <laughs> um, yes, uh, I'm, I'm joining off from another meeting. So oh, okay. Sure. It's all good. We're, we're just finishing up, unless there was anything that you wanted to add or or, or chat about. Um, so I, I don't know like whether this is relevant, but just a little bit on. So I had meetings with Yesenia and uh, and the interns. They were showing yeah. the 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 dashboard as it is right now, uh, yeah. the, the triage portal as it is right yeah. now. What we are seeing is, or what we have found out. So so right now the data is not populated there, and we still have not created the mechanism of. Uh, so, so the when we are updating the serif, the, the the dashboard is still not like populating the data from that. But that's probably going to be done pretty yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, what will probably not be done in time is the complex 
coordinated disclosure uh, workflow. Uh, right. The idea is that will be done. So the work that we'll be starting to do from April 1, uh, from July 1, what we were thinking of, then go back to our triage portal, which has done this to some extent, and then use that for yeah. now. We still need to do some work. So that- Yeah, so a, 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 a thousand percent, yes. Um, do, okay. do the way works. Um, and, uh, sorry, um, this is more of an AO conversation, but uh, uh, through this, Open Refactory is, will be doing uh, security analysis of, I think we said 500 a month or- like yeah, a, like a lot of a lot of open source projects, triaging results and kind of owning the the disclosure from you know from from discovery through fix um, as a as an experiment to see like how well does this stuff scale out. So that, that's what we were talking about on on where we while yes. we would we would like you know eventually the uh, Omega Triage Portal to be a consumable resource for lots of security researchers doing these kind of bulk scale analysis. It's still you know the the, the 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 train has like two wheels, so uh, yes. let's um you know just yeah, just wanted to make sure that was good. And and since this is like uh, this is the parent uh, organization of the AO anyway, so that's why I was bringing this conversation. And we don't yeah. have any any conversation before July one, so just wanted to. So the expectation would be that we'll be doing some extension on the on our triage portal uh, okay. and. Uh, making sure that we follow a subset of the coordinated disclosure. So we won't automate all of that stuff. Jonathan is already working on that. Once that is available, it's going to be integrated. We're going to use that. But we'll be just do, doing just enough so that it's workable. We're working on the PMPBR a way of, of reporting bugs. Yeah. And then we'll be using that. So the, the work or the active reporting is probably going to start near the end of July or early August, as opposed okay. to like, on July one because the infrastructure is not ready. That's yeah, yeah. The one. Are, are you using uh, the disclosure check tool for projects that don't have PMPDR? Uh, we are using that. Yes. Perfect. So, so I, I have access to that. It's not integrated yet, but that's, that's part of the plan that we will be. I, doing that. Perfect. Um, then I will I will accelerate and make sure that I actually deliver my promise to get the Python library updated and the package on GitHub packages updated with the latest bit so that it works as Good as it can, uh, but obviously, if you if you run into places where it's spitting out nonsense, um, just ping me or file a bug or whatever, and we'll, we'll sure. improve it. Um, I think right now it's probably in the probably in the low nineties percent um, good, and the places where it fails are places where humans can't find it either. So yes, yes, uh, yeah. So well, yeah, I we I think one of our guys tried it out. It looked pretty like useful at that particular point, but actively we'll be looking at it from July 1 onwards. So yeah. that's just, awesome. Uh, we're going to do. Okay, thank you. Just awesome. to... love it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, anything else? Not you guys got five, six, 17 minutes back. Going once, going twice. Thank you all. See you in two weeks. Uh, wait, hold on, wait, 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 before we do this. Two weeks is that July 4th? We're gonna, uh, no, it's July 5th. So we are okay. Um, I'm gonna be off for the following two weeks, the 19th of July and the 2nd. So um, maybe we we'll just do this now. Is there anybody that will be around on either July 19th and the 2nd who would just be willing to run this, uh, run this meeting? Always around. Always around. Awesome. Jay, they're yours. Thank you. Um, cool. Have a great day, everybody. Appreciate it. Adios. Thanks. Bye. Bye.